this is just a video of what me and my best friend Tom has made for the frogs. Well, we've got a path, a stone path we made to access the pond for, well, humans to access the pond and check out what's in there. And for the frogs, we have built a, a really, well, a bigger pond and a sign for the amphibians to let people know that, that this is a frog area. We're going to go get some frogs from the pond near my house in a minute just to see if the frogs can actually get out, just to test to see if they can get out. And we've got a chair there, an antique chair, to, uh, it's a videoing point where we want to get vi frog videos while they're in the pond secretly because there's a way to get to that chair from there. And we can get the video recorder and record them in the pond, what they're doing and stuff. We're going to get a few fish, little sticklebacks and stuff from the river. And some tadpoles and some frog eggs maybe to put in here so we can actually raise, well sort of, you know, um, uh, what's the word? Yeah, raise the population of frogs and sort of breed them because frogs and toads and amphibians and reptiles and stuff is like my life and Tom's life. <laughs> yeah, we're just trying to figure out where we can actually get proper frog eggs and stuff from. But I just heard to make move. Yeah. So comment on what you think of the area and the pond and stuff and, and give me some tips on what I could do to improve the area. And I'll keep you guys updated. See ya. Just going to that, well my pond again with Tom. <laughs> uh, because earlier me and Tom went hurting to look for frogs and stuff to put to bring back to put in the pond to test to see if they could get out because I can't find any in my garden. But we didn't have any luck with that. So we brought back some pond snails. Look if you can see in there there's a pond snail just there. And there's two there. There's one there and one there. But, and there's one behind that big rock there. And there's some really small ones there, and a small one there, and another small one there. And there was a worm in there just a second ago. Um, it was sort of really squirming really fast, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, but I think we did a pretty good job with this pond. I mean, it took long enough. The first thing we put down had a hole in it, so we had to start again. We got four pond snails, four big ones, and there's about four little ones as well. The big ones are orange, orangey red, and they're pretty big. Yeah, it's a really good pond. I mean, the first one we had to put down was too small, and we had to patch it up with little, little parts, and there was a hole in it, and it didn't work, so now we just put down a bigger one. And we used a uh, black bag, a big, huge black bag for reinforcement. And uh, it worked pretty well. It's bigger than my old temporary pond, <laughs> the one that I did on my video uh, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it's a really good pond. Please do it. Can't find any frogs, though, in this garden. There usually is. Isn't there? Mm -hmm. There's usually... There were yesterday, when he was mm -hmm. around, there was two, but um, they disappeared, <laughs> and we couldn't find them, so, so yeah, see you guys. Tinky winky, tipsy, la la, po pe 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 pe, tinky winky, tipsy, la la.